November is National Adoption Month. It's a special time to encourage kids in foster care to not give up hope of finding a forever family. It's also a time for all of us to better understand the joy that adoption can bring. Today we're joined by adoptive parents Dwayne and Rebecca Campbell along with their children Tori, Livy, Anna, Bella and Chris and Raquel Breckenridge, Director of Adoptions at Franklin County Children's Services. Welcome to you all. We're so happy to have you all. Thank you. Rebecca and Dwayne, let's start with you. You adopted three siblings. What was your big reason for doing that? Well, um, when we first got married, we talked about wanting a big family. We both had a desire to have that. And after our second biological child, uh, Olivia, was born, uh, the doctors told us uh, there were some complications not to have anymore. Um, so we talked about it, we prayed about it, uh, we spent a lot of time considering it, and we just decided that um, you know, adoption was a, a very viable way for us to build our family. Uh, we started looking at all of the available sibling sets because really we were willing to go up to six and we were able to find uh, Annabella and Chris. Was it hard to get the whole family on board to Spain, especially adopting three children? Um, <clears throat> so we had, uh, we talked with our parents, we talked with uh, the children and uh, Livy was very open to it. Um, Victoria, her one stipulation was she wanted to continue to be the oldest child. Oh, um, so sure. that kind of gave us an age group of, of what to look for um, because we didn't want to disrupt uh, or, or do something that they weren't uh, in agreement with. So yeah, that was really the, the only decisions we had to make. Wonderful. And I'm guessing the holiday season is going to be all the more merrier and brighter this year. Absolutely. Um, we actually were very lucky to um, they were placed in our home last June, and then our adoption was finalized um, last December, December 17th. So we had them last Christmas, but it was very chaotic because we had our Forever Family Day, and then we had Christmas, and they were telling us things like we've never had stockings before. We've never seen a Christmas tree before, and it was just wow. so heartbreaking. So just it was kind of chaos. So we're really looking forward to this year. Um, just enjoying, they're excited, they know it's coming, so it's really going to be special. This I year. bet the kids are looking forward to it too. <laughs> Raquel, who are the most challenging children to find permanent homes for? Our teenage population is our young, is, is our most difficult to place. Um, I would say age, around starting around age 12 up to age 8, 17, both male and female, and large sibling groups. And how badly do these older children want to find those forever homes? They, they. Um, they really need homes. Um, they struggle with, of course, their um, knowing their biological family, but also wanting a permanent home, um, someone that they that they can go to. How, like she said, holidays, Christmases, um, college, and things like that. So they really struggle with finding the appropriate and a uh, forever home that's going to love them no matter what. What makes your recruitment efforts for adoption so successful? I would say the dedication of our staff and their commitment to finding homes for these older youth. Also, our the Wendy's Wonderful Children, our child-specific recruiters do a great job at helping us locate homes. And also that we uh, do nat nationwide recruitment for our children. Wow, and you say about 200 children right here in our own county are hoping to find homes. They're waiting right now. Yes, they are. You, th we have pictures of three of them and, and give us just an idea of what these children are like, uh, all, all of them waiting for homes. Well, some of them have special needs. Um, some of them are part of sibling groups. Um, some of them who, who've had numerous placements and uh, some of them actually have disrupted homes as well and they're just looking for the right home for them. We're running out of time, but Rebecca and Duane, I have to ask you both, what would you say to our viewers right now who are thinking about adopting? Um, first, I would just say pray about it, um, get it something in your heart, um, have a good support system. Um, you know, all, there's so much negativity, I'm too old, you know, I, I, I have so many disabilities of my own, I could financially could not possibly take care of children, those are all myths. You know, you have the ability to take these children into your home and there are so many out there. They just, they want a home for the holidays. They just want family. Well, obviously it has worked. It has been a blessing and for viewers out there, it will be for you as well. We have the information on the screen right now. Thank you all for being here. Thank, Thank you. you.